Welcome back, everybody. I'm here now with your full forecast, giving you another look at these current temperatures just to show you. We got these winds in here coming in from the south. That's all going to change because we have a cold front that's going to be coming over in the next couple of days. You see, most places are in the 40s to 50s. See, we get down to 41 here in Brownwood, even up to 51 here in Breckenridge. That's a 10 degree difference. Even 53 out here in Snyder, 44 in Big Spring. It's pretty cool around the area and it's going to continue to get cooler as we get through the night. It's going to be one of our cooler nights, but not the coolest of the week. Only 39 degrees. It'll still be part partly cloudy, but it's still a chilly night. Winds will be pretty calm at just five miles per hour. Now over these next couple of days, we're going to see quite a fluctuation in temperatures. Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to be in the 70s because we have a warming trend going up. But you see here, we're going to have a cold front. That'll be Wednesday night going into Thursday. That's going to bring some slight rain chances as we get into Wednesday night and Thursday, but particularly for our easternmost counties, that's going to include the heartland and the hill country. And it's going to drop temperatures down into the 50s on Thursday before we heat up continuing into the rest of the week. Again. So if you're headed out the door tomorrow, we're going to see some fairly nice weather. You see quite chilly, 42 degrees out here at 8 a.m. We're going to heat up pretty quickly, 58 degrees by the time we get to 10 a.m. So you see around 2 to 4 in that high afternoon. That's when we hit those highs in the mid 70s. And we're going to cool back down once we hit 6 o'clock back into the 60s. Now with the holidays coming up, you see the rest of Texas is as well going to be seeing this chilly weather. This is going to be Wednesday morning. So skipping over tomorrow, it'll be a little bit milder in the 50s where you're getting off Wednesday. You start heading over to see your family's no matter where you are, you'll be mainly in the upper 60s to lower 70s. And going into Thursday, that's when that cold front's going to come through. You can see here this big difference between these cool blue colors and all these temperatures in the 40s, 35 degrees up here in Amarillo. And once you get down to eastern and southeastern Texas, you get back into those 60s and 70s, all the way to up to 73 degrees down in Corpus Christi. And once we get to the rest of Thursday, things will uh, cool down a bit. You see we'll be, we're going to warm up a bit. You see we're going to be in those 50s and 60s by the time we hit your afternoon and evening. Those rain chances are going to go away for the most part, but look out for a big freeze once we get to Friday morning. We are going to see really chilly temperatures if you find yourself outside. You see almost at freezing degree at the freezing level, 33 degrees in San Angelo, 26 up in Lubbock. So it's going to be pretty chilly on Friday morning. So if you're doing any turkey day travel with that cold front, definitely look out for some morning time showers. There's about a 30% chance again for those southeasternmost counties. Once we hit the afternoon, we're going to warm back up into the mid to upper 50s. Uh, for the rest of the day. So wrapping up with your seven day forecast, like I said, it's going to be a pretty cloudy week. You see, we're going to have those rain chances Wednesday night into your Thanksgiving holiday. Black Friday is going to warm up a bit. We'll get back into those 60s, but we'll still see a little bit of cloudiness as we continue into the rest of the weekend.